The Big Bang took place with the explosion of the point which contained all the matter and energy of the universe and its dispersion into space in all directions with a terrifying speed. Out of this matter and energy, there came about a great balance containing galaxies, stars, the sun, the earth, and all other heavenly bodies. Moreover, laws were formed called the laws of physics, which are uniform throughout the whole universe and do not change. The laws of physics that emerged together with the Big Bang did not change at all over a period of 15 billion years. Furthermore, these laws stand on calculations so scrupulous that even a millimeter's variation from their current values could result in the destruction of the whole structure and configuration of the universe. All these indicate that a perfect order arose after the Big Bang. Explosions, however, do not bring about order. All of the observable explosions tend to harm, disintegrate, and destroy what is present. If we were to be introduced to a very detailed order after an explosion, we then might conclude that there was a planned creation behind this explosion, and that all the pieces dispersed by the explosion had been made to move in a very controlled way. The quote from Sir Fred Hoyle, who finally had to accept the theory after many years of opposition to the Big Bang Theory, expresses this situation very well. The Big Bang Theory holds that the universe began with a single explosion. Yet, as can be seen, an explosion merely throws matter apart, while the Big Bang has mysteriously produced the opposite effect, with matter clumping together in the form of galaxies. No doubt, if a great order arose with an explosion, then it should be accepted that the intervention of a creator is involved in every moment of this explosion. Another aspect of this extraordinary order formed in the universe following the Big Bang is the creation of a habitable universe. The conditions for the formation of a habitable planet are so many and so complex that it is impossible to think that this formation is coincidental. Paul Davies, a renowned professor of theoretical physics, stated at the end of the calculations he made on the expansion rate of the universe that this rate is inconceivably delicate Davis says, careful measurement puts the rate of expansion very close to a critical value at which the universe will just escape its own gravity and expand forever. A little slower, and the cosmos would collapse. A little faster, and the cosmic material would have long ago completely dispersed. The Big Bang was not, evidently, any old bang but an explosion of exquisitely arranged magnitude. The famous physicist Professor Stephen Hawking states in his book, A Brief History of Time, that the universe is set on calculations and balances more finely tuned than we can conceive. Hawking states with reference to the rate of expansion of the universe, if the rate of expansion one second after the Big Bang had been smaller by even one part in a hundred thousand million million, the universe would have re-collapsed before it ever reached its present size. Paul Davies also explains the unavoidable consequence to be derived from these incredibly precise balances and calculations. It is hard to resist the impression that the present structure of the universe, apparently so sensitive to minor alterations in the numbers, has been rather carefully thought out. The seemingly miraculous concurrence of numerical values that nature has assigned to her fundamental constants must remain the most compelling evidence for an element of cosmic design. In relation to the same fact, an American professor of astronomy, George Greenstein, writes in his book, The Symbiotic Universe, As we survey all the evidence, the thought insistently arises that some supernatural agency must be involved. Briefly, when we examine the glorious system of the universe, we see that the existence of the universe and its workings rest on extremely delicate balances, 
and an order too complex to be explained away by coincidental causes. As is evident, it is by no means possible for this delicate balance and order to have been formed on its own and by coincidence after a great explosion. The formation of such an order following an explosion such as the Big Bang is a clear evidence of a supernatural creation. This matchless plan and order in the universe certainly proves the existence of a creator with infinite knowledge, might, and wisdom, who has created matter from nothing and who controls and manages it incessantly. This creator is Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. و آن روز که به هر چیز میگوید موجود باش موجود می شود